Hi everyone, this is Raghavarshni and my teammates were Suresh and Bhargava and we were supervised by Illumin and Sir. And the title of our project is A Novel Method to Detect the Forest Fire Using Data Science. These are our industry details and we were placed in Cognizant Technology Solutions. This is our agenda. And the abstract of our project is, as we all know that forest fires have become a major threat around the world, causing many negative impacts on human habitats and forest ecosystems. Climatic changes and the greenhouse effect are some of the consequences of such destruction. Interestingly, a higher percentage of forest fires occur due to human activities itself. Therefore, to minimize the destruction caused by forest fires, there is a need to detect the forest fire at their initial stage itself. So, this is our objectives and the aim of our project is to safeguard the forest from fires and to detect the forest fire in a given set of data. The scope of our project is to focus on building cost efficient and highly accurate machine that can be used in almost any use case of fire detection. And this is the introduction of our project. As you all know that forest fires are disaster that can cause extensive damage to the entire world in economic, ecological and environmental ways. These fires can be caused by either natural reasons or by the human reasons. According to the research, 90% of the world forest fire incidents have occurred as a result of the above mentioned human carelessness. So, these are the li literature review we have collected from the IEEE papers. These are the design and methodologies that we have colored and our module 1 is data collection and training using machine learning algorithms. Our module 2 is importing necessary libraries, exploratory data analysis and data cleaning and module 3 is model development and module 4 is getting output. Hello everyone, this is Bargava. Here we are going to run our project code of forest fire detection system in Google Colab. Here we are collecting a data set from Google and the data set contains all images in the unique format of .jpg. Now we are going to unzip the data set. Here you can able to see all the unzipped data set images. Now we are going to divide the data set into two parts. One for the training purpose and the second one for the testing purpose. This code helps us to divide the data set. It has divided the 1800 images for the training purpose and the 200 images for the validating purpose. This is the CNN algorithm. CNN means convolutional neural network. It is a deep learning algorithm. It takes images and objects as an input and can be able to differentiate one from another. Uh, this is a training code block cell. Here we have given 20 approaches. Uh, in each step, uh, each approach contains 14 steps. We can we can see that the all 20 approaches can uh, run successfully with all 14 steps. This is a training code block cell. Here we have given 10 approaches with 14 steps. It helps to test the images. And here also that all 10 approaches were successfully run with the 14 successful steps. This is the plot line uh, code block cell. Here it, uh, it will give the graph of accuracy of our training model and the testing model. We can able to see the graph here. And this is the last graph. Last means some of the images in the, from the data set may, must be failed to compare the images and this is the code uh, here we, have, uh, we can take the inputs from uh, outside source and can uh, check whether the picture contains file or not now we are going to run the this code see here it's uh, showing the choose files now we are going to choose the files here already the, I have taken some images. Here it contains uh, all fired and uh, non fired images. And the 3 and 7 didn't have any fire. So let's check. All, I selected all images and upload it. We can, we can see that the images are uploading here.
we are done with it we can see here whether the code was uh, detected or not we have given seven images and the third one and the seventh one didn't have any file and it also shows false that means that the image doesn't contain any file and also for the seventh one too so we can see that our code was successfully running thank you